and see in the place to be and see hi all and welcome back to my channel that's me again your great NC in the place to be yeah this time I have just thought about to do a video for you guys um, where you can see how you can diagnostic uh, we can say a notebook or a laptop that has some problems some issues um, this one here is from a guy that have told me that uh, the system sometimes just freezes and just shuts down after 10 or 20 minutes and I just wanted to do a video uh, with you guys that you can see and that you can learn uh, how to begin to, uh, we can say, uh, yeah, check the problems and uh, where you can begin to search uh, the problems. This is here um, a Fujitsu Siemens Amilo. Um, wait, 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 I have just written it somewhere, the version number uh, of this guy here. It's a big one, it's a really a monster. <laughs> look at this, this is a real monster, look at the small ones. <laughs> but this one here is a real monster. So we are here talking about the Amilo LI39110. Uh, yeah, I also write myself always the BIOS version, so we are here on 1.03. Uh, but this is all for me, just for, we can say, later. Um, for now I just want to explain you and I just want to show you my work, what I do and all the time, not only PlayStation 3s and all the stuff, not only PlayStation 4, I work also a lot with cars, I, load with, uh, I work with graphics cards, with uh, all the graphics cards, uh, all the notebooks, new notebooks. I check also sometimes, I check some, some, we can say, memories for the notebook, sometimes they have also some problems. And you can check this all with some tools. I got here on this one here, I got a lot of tools. Uh, I got here my special CDs also. I got here a lot of, uh, yeah, we can say screwdriver drills and, and, and some bits and some, just some tools for me. Uh, thermal compound with, where it's, uh, we can say, very necessary sometimes on this stuff here. Because I don't know right now what is the problem of this guy. But, um, yeah, I need to begin somewhere. <laughs> And uh, these are the next waiting for me. Um, this one here, I think uh, it's not a big thing. It has something, I think it's about the HDD. So the hard disk here is sometimes bad and some bad sectors. And you can you can just install a new uh, HDD over here. Uh, and uh, I need to see what the other two have uh, some problems. I think this one here is from eMachines. Um, this one here was, I think, from Asus. And uh, this one, mm, Lenovo, yes, Lenovo, and yeah, some graphics cards need, needs to be cleaned sometimes also, or needs to be changed the thermal compound and all the rest. And uh, but this is um, yeah, the next one. So now I'm talking here about this one here. Uh, the guy told me that the battery was uh, missing or is just bad. So here is no ma no battery inside. Um, yeah, let me just uh, wait, wait, wait. So, uh, like I told, Amilo LI3910. Yeah. So this is a very old notebook, but this is a big guy, you know, this is <laughs> a big one. It's, it's great, but for me, mm, yeah, I don't like these big notebooks because sometimes um, it just needs a, a smaller one and uh, sometimes these big notebooks they are really too big sometimes and you cannot sit there on the couch or on the sofa and uh, it's yeah just too big so um yeah where are we going to begin uh peace yeah the first thing that we need to check is uh, of course if you can get into the bios and i have just uh, tested this before also that's why i know uh, which bios version it is uh, you go here just and press f2 and then you are able now to enter the BIOS. And yeah, this is here not just all set it on 2007. You need to set this all later on the date uh, that you are already. So that means you need to set it about 2019. Yeah, we need to begin somewhere. Sometimes you got also on the BIOS. Uh, you can just get in there and you can watch 
some stuff like monitoring or we can say on advanced options you can hear my, uh, sometimes you can go there and you can check the temperatures but on this BIOS, um yeah sadly it's not possible and um we cannot we are not able here to uh, see the temperatures of the cpu because the most problems on these notebooks when they just shut down after a while like 20 minutes or like that it's because really they are just overheating and um, the great thing is that the cpu or the motherboard is just noticing that the cpu runs hot and then it shuts down yeah that's a great thing because if it was not shut down the cpu will burn and we don't like that <laughs> so it's bad it shuts it shuts just down and, and it's great and you can just keep going on and look around where you can find or uh, that you can find the problem so here sometimes the bios is the problem sometimes the hard disk is the problem and sometimes of course the overheating or sometimes uh, also bad memories but on the notebooks they are way smaller they are just like this i have some ones over there uh, on my other room but um yeah for now i just want to share this with you guys to um yeah i just want to teach you a, a little bit or i just want to show you my work that i especially do a lot uh, of times and like i told not only consoles not only playstations and the rest this is here so we can say my special work uh, I work also on motherboards and uh, a lot more stuff, but this is one of my favorite things that I like. Uh, on the next video, I'm gonna also show you um, how you can build a small computer for you guys because uh, yeah, we can say at last uh, a computer is the better console if you understand what I mean. <laughs> so next time, I'm gonna show you a great computer that you can build for you together. Uh, just for you uh, for about uh, 300 400 bucks not more and you will be able to play the newest game and uh, with a, a way better quality and a way better and faster load uh, times as with some consoles like the playstation 3 or playstation 4 but this is all i want to show you uh, on the next video so for now like i told this was uh, not just to show you uh, how you can we can say begin to test uh, the computer and that's why I was now talking here about uh, some minutes with you guys together because now uh, it has passed about eight minutes and I was you know about five minutes just into the views and if a computer would have really 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 problems uh, the computer will or would shut down right now because um, I have other saw computers or net or notebooks uh, when they are getting really really hot um, they will also shut down when you are just in the BIOS but yeah you need to think like that the BIOS is um, it's we can say the brain <laughs> it's the brain of the computer uh, I'm sorry for my English but I just try to explain this that you can understand it uh, the BIOS um, we can say when you are in the BIOS the notebook is not working that much yeah and when some notebooks or computers just freezes here right now uh, that means they are really just overheating or uh, the bios is just damaged so the bios chip could be the reason or uh, a bad flash or whatever maybe you have done here bios update and sometimes the newer bios updates are not that great so you need to downgrade it because uh, like you see right now we are here on 1.03 uh, let's say you will yeah upgrade your bios or you want to do an update to your bios and let's say you will update it to 1.05 or whatever and when you notice you got just problems and your computer's freezing then of course you know hey this was the fault because the bios update okay so take care here uh, never touch a running system you can uh, set here later the time or the date which is most imp uh, more important 2019 here we go and the rest I, I don't care maybe later you will need to set this um, exactly because maybe you will have problems to get into the internet so if you have problems to get into the internet if you want to visit some uh, pages like google or whatever when it's not working it's because of the date uh, you need really uh, to set it exactly on the day and 
of course the the year and all the rest so but for now um, i want to just let it like this i'm going to save it with f10 and let's uh, check this out if this uh, will just yeah start great if this will boot great and um, yeah i will later of course um, yeah put my smartphone here on the on my tripod so wait let me just get in here so it's better for you it will not shake that much shake it shake it <laughs> yeah guys um let's see if i'm gonna do that that or here or i don't know so but i just have thought to um yeah here i have just noticed something with a monitor i don't know if you have seen that here it was some some problems but um yeah you can see again but mostly um this uh, lines like you have seen right now they are coming from the flex cables here inside you got the we can say the connector that connects the monitor to the motherboard and sometimes uh when you just yeah move your monitor um you have maybe here some textures or some bad lines but this is happen because of the flex cable that is inside sometimes it's also the connector and sometimes you will you will really um, need to open all the monitor and all this stuff because uh, otherwise you will not be able to get inside there but this is a bit more complicated maybe one day i'm gonna do that with you guys so now uh password i don't have this password from this guy <laughs> uh, this is just uh, i don't have the password uh, wait 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 uh, maybe his name <laughs> oh, of course not that would be too easy uh, but wait 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 I got something special for you <laughs> wait 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 NC in the place to be <laughs> always prepared for some problems like this that's why I got here my magic CD my magic disc <laughs> uh, just put it here inside and this will help you to pass we can say the yeah the password or whatever it will help just to get inside without password i got here the magic today it's magic <laughs> all right okay just kidding um of course now we need to shut it down we will need to boot over the cd or we can say over the cd drive uh, disk drive or whatever and we will need to set this we can say also in the bios so here we go let's get inside the bios again just keep pressing f2 sometimes on, on other notebooks you need to press escape or here delete or whatever but on this one here you just need to press f2 okay uh, now you just go here to boot and boot priority we need to set that this guy should boot with the uh, dvd drive okay cd dvd drive um wait 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 sorry my fault here we go okay here this needs to be on the first place because this was here on hard disk so he will boot with the hard disk and we just now we just want that this guy will boot over the uh, cd drive okay so that's why you can just move with uh, here with plus and minus yeah you can see that i will try to show you this all plus and minus you can move uh, this to the second or third or to the first place okay so now i just want that he will boot over the um, cd drive and that's why you will need to set the priority on the first place so he will yeah we can say we can say uh, restart reboot into we can say the uh, blu-ray or we can say the dvd dvd or cd dvd drive <laughs> so now okay and now press f10 to save and exit and now ta -da! <laughs> here we go so magic i love this i love this this is so great <laughs> yeah with this you can pass all passwords we can say all uh, the most uh, i have not tested it on windows 10 but i have tested on a lot of uh yeah we can say systems and operation systems it's just working perfect <laughs> yeah
yeah. It's just because really, guys, I need that. Some people, uh, they bring me some computers to repair and they just forget to tell me the password. And uh, that's why this is just specially just for me. And I just need it because sometimes when it's late, I cannot uh, call these guys. And uh, in, yeah, we can say middle in the night, I, I can't call them and wake them up. Hey, I need your password. <laughs> yeah, and that's why I, I love this. Yeah, I love this disc. I have it as a long time and uh, it has, yeah, saved my ass a <laughs> lot of times. Okay, um, so here we go now. We have just put it over the CD and uh, now we don't need any password you just press here enter and here we go okay now it will get in if you want or not <laughs> yeah that's great um, so now we are into the system and uh, what you can do now is you can just let it here because now the computer is working a little bit more and um, he now, uh, we can say, will work harder than just in the BIOS. I can hear it already. So the fan is already running. Mm -hmm. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, guys, uh, this is just to show you uh, what you need to take care about. So you need to listen to the sounds, you need to uh, listen to the fan, you need uh, also listen, we can say, to the hard disk. Sometimes the hard disk is, is making some crazy sounds like... <laughs> yeah, so when the hard disk is, is making some noisy sounds, you, you maybe also know already that the hard disk is maybe damaged or whatever but for this all we got some great tools over here you can download this everywhere the first thing that i want to do is right now a temperature check you should also take always care because sometimes um this notebooks they has just some virus and some trojans and whatever <laughs> so that's why take care because uh, if you put a usb drive inside uh, you will be also infected, we can say, with some virus. Yeah, let's say this guy has here a lot of Torians and uh, hack gen tools or whatever. Um, you need to take care because the virus here inside, they will also, of course, pass into your stick. So that's why I take care. When you, uh, yeah, if you got Kaspersky, like an antivirus, uh, before you use it again for yourself, just... Uh, check your USB pen or US, your USB drive for uh, yeah some viewers or whatever. So now uh, I'm gonna just connect it here inside and uh, yeah, let's see what will happen. So here we go. No, I don't want to check my USB drive. It's all fine. So I hope you can see that all. I'm gonna put the camera a bit down because I just has I, I just have take a sit wait so guys yeah for all the newcomers on my channel um, I'm sorry for my English but um, the most important is that you can understand something so um, here we go yeah guys I, I, I speak a lot of languages so sometimes I just get confused myself <laughs> because I really I speak too much languages so here um, let's go computer uh, yeah and let's go into the USB drive and to my tools so, yeah you can see here some tools also in German in Portuguese and whatever but it's okay um, now we're gonna begin with a tool that is really great and it calls just um, yeah core temp so let's check this out here uh, I don't know um, if it's a 32-bit system or let's say um, 64 but we can see that here 
blah 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 this is a 32-bit uh, operation system so that's why take here also the 32-bit um, yeah X and the, the setup uh, yeah just run it so now we will see um, the temperatures here we can see we are already now on 70 degrees Ooh. 70 degrees we can say nearly because we are running here now on uh, 62 wait so here we go let me just focus here yeah uh, it's not that good in my eyes because uh, a great notebook should run about 45 and 50 degrees so now uh, we are already here running on 61 degrees so this could be the first problem so we are talking here we can say over an overheating computer um, but the next step wait let me move it here hein? yeah just move it here the next step that I want to check is the hard disk so let me just um, yeah zoom it back and um, now let's take the next tool oh, but I cannot tie it I just feel this here on my hand it gets really hot here on the fan here's the fan side here the hot air is just coming out so um but it's for now it's okay I, I'm gonna just let it here over some minutes running and then we will see more okay the next tool is uh, HD tune it's a small tool but very powerful so here we go HD tune uh, let's check this out and uh, this is the older version but I like the older version because it starts faster we are here on HD tune 2.55 and here we can uh, we can say check the uh, hard disk okay so the let me just focus again so this gets a bit more sharper so here we are uh, ST um, means months mostly um, um, Seagate uh, Seagate has mostly the the name here on ST and whatever and you can also have some hard disks that are made from Western digital and there you will see W and D for Western Digital. Okay, this one here is now Seagate. Uh, sometimes you will see just a T like Toshiba, and yeah, it, it conforms uh, the the we can say the hard disk. So now you can go here to Info, and then you can see some more stuff here, and then we can go here to Hilt. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so this is. Uh, yeah the next problem now you can see that yeah all that is in yellow uh, we, is, we can say a warning this uh, is danger because some sectors or you can see here spin retry count so that means that, um, it, that the hard disk has here just some problems to spin so that means um, the, the hard disk is not working fine uh, unknown attribute, uh, yeah, something uh, that is also here not running great. Relocated sector counts. This is not good, okay, because that means that some sectors are just damaged, okay, and um, it's not good. It's not good. Wait, 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 wait. So, but we need to begin somewhere, and we just saw that the temperatures are not the best. And the hard disk, you can see right now, the hard disk is not good. The temperatures are here running on about 39 degrees, which is not bad. It's okay for a hard disk. It could run cooler, of course. So, uh, for now, yeah, you can also do a benchmark with this tool here. You can just go here on settings. You can go here to benchmark and you can just um, select fast. Here we go. Okay. And then now... You can run a benchmark test, and this should also uh, this should run about 50 megabytes per second and more, of course. But if you have a hard disk that is running just on 5 till 10 
megabytes per second. That means that the the uh, the hard disk is really damaged, guys, <laughs> because uh, uh, a great HDD should work with about 80 megabytes per second or sometimes 100, 120. Uh, SSD runs with about 300. It conforms the controller of the motherboard. Okay, so the uh, an SSD runs really faster, and uh, the HDDs are yeah running we can say a little bit uh, uh, lower and, and uh, slowly so now let's just press start and let's see this is running now uh, on about 60 17 uh, 60 70 megabytes per second so here now this is just a benchmark we can say that is just testing the uh, hard disk but uh, you can see now the spikes goes down and and up this is just fully normal because your hard disk uh, is now, of course, full with uh, the operation system. But um, yeah, the we can say the SS time, the SS time here, the how or fast. Uh, yeah, I bet this is not that great. But yeah, let's see. In my eyes, this um, HDD is just damaged. Okay, because this is for me a reason. Uh, to uh, change the hard disk okay guys really this is for me a big reason uh, when I see this stuff I just yeah for me the work is now finished because I have already found a problem okay for me uh, you can have our uh, of course problems also with some virus you can check your system for virus you can use of course Kaspersky is one is a really powerful diagnostic tool for some virus you can check your virus you can check your computer i love kaspersky uh, because i have i just work about eight years now with kaspersky and kaspersky always helped me to find uh, some great virus so here again yeah the hill is not that great on this on this hdd uh, now we're gonna just uh, also check the hd tune 4.50 and let's see what this will tell us um yeah here and here so it's just telling us the same one um relocated sector count and current pending sector so that means it has just problems on pending the sector so that's why this um yeah HD is maybe just uh, yeah running very bad and that's why it just freezes the system freezes and it's just staying freeze the guy told me that sometimes it also shuts down but I think um, it shuts down because of the temperature um, you can do also here error scan you can uh, select here quick scan this will of course run fast a fast scan and it will show you uh, the green pixels and sometimes when you have some damaged sectors it will just show you this in red but um, yeah this takes a lot of time it confirms uh, the hard disk if you have a big hard disk we can say if you have a, a big HDD this will take of course longer if you have a SSD uh, this will run uh, of course we can say uh, way faster and you on a on a SSD you even don't you don't need to press quick scan because the SSD will run of course um, yeah fast fast enough we can say so here you can also, you can also see here down uh, wait here we go how much gigabytes it just has scan but we are now just doing this. I can hear the hard disk running. It makes some. It just makes some uh, noisy bad sounds. I don't know if you have heard that. I'm gonna take now again my smartphone and let's see if you can hear that. I'm gonna press again start.
Yeah. I hope you have heard that. I will try to uh, make the sounds louder when I will, uh, we can say later, edit the video. I'm gonna try to make the sounds louder for you guys. Uh, you can hear that this uh, art disk is not running like it should run. So it makes really some bad noisy sounds. <laughs> yeah guys, um, like I told, this is the, we can say, the first things that you need to do. Um, you got here also, um, let me just check this. Uh, for now we are ready. I just want to, let's see. I just want to see the temperatures right now again. So car temp. Yeah, we are still on, we can say 61, 62 degrees. I don't know if you can see that. Maybe I'm gonna open this notebook also for you guys. And uh, it should be done because um, 60 degrees in my eyes this is way too much okay we are now here uh, we have uh, we can say room temperatures about 20 degrees so the notebook here short one about 45 it confirms also the the cpu model some cpus are running hot um, but this one here socket uh, 478 i know the temperature should be about yeah 42 45 degrees um, this means it, it's just time to, we can say, change the thermal compound. Yeah, just the same stuff that I just do also on uh, PlayStations and this stuff. And uh, it's, it's not, uh, yeah, it's not that complicated, but you need to open lots of things. It confirms which notebook you have. Sometimes re you will really need to open a lot of stuff. But uh, let's just see um, what we got here. So... Um, let me just take all this out. I have not just took out my USB pen like you can see here it is. Now, um, yeah, you can shut it down. Let me just take my magic CD out. <laughs> I love this one. So come out here again. Here we go. I love this one. Yeah. So guys, you know what you need to get if you have some problems to get into the system. So now, um, Let's just power off here. Let's just shut down again. Here we go. Uh, so, and now we will need to see. Um, so now it's off. You can just plug it off. And now let's check this out. So here, sometimes uh, on some great notebooks, you don't need to open a lot of stuff. Sometimes it's just necessary uh, to take off this, uh, we can say, on the on the on the back. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Let me just search the weight, the right tool. So here, sometimes you just need to open this stuff, and there you will be able to get into the we can say the memories, the ROMs, or sometimes the processor. It confirms which model you have. And um, don't lose the screws, guys. So, this should be open now. Oh, come on. Here we go. So, yeah. So, on this notebook, uh, it will be hard. It will be hard because um, I need to get also here inside. Um, it feels really hot. It feels hot. Here are the memories. Here's the hard disk. You can also check the hard disk, of course, right now. Sometimes you will need, um, yeah, just to take this off here. So here you got the screw, like you can see. So you can see this is the stopper, or it just, yeah, protects the hard disk to not get open automatically. So. Like I told, we got here Seagate. So, hope the focus is great, guys. So, guys, here now you can see that it's a hard disk from Seagate with 320 gigabytes. Okay, um, this one here, uh, I will need to replace it. I will do this later. 
because um, I will show you this later. I have shown you this already in, on uh, another video. I got a hard disk uh, cloner, uh, which is really great. Um, you can just uh, copy one hard disk to the other one uh, with a. I, it was a box from. Um, uh, how it was the name, I don't know. It was something like IC box, yeah. Right, so here, this one. I have just shown you this on my other video from IC box. This is a great box. <laughs> you just put here your hard disk inside and then you put here the newer one and you can just copy from the older hard disk to the newer hard disk. Just press here, copy, you can see that. And this will do all automatically for you guys. You don't need any software, you don't need any tools. This is just fantastic. Yeah, guys, so um, I'm going to need to do that for this guy because I already know that this hard disk is damaged, of course, and this will need to be replaced. So here I know this is my first thing that I need to do. And uh, now the second is... Um, of course, uh, we can say the, let me tell you, the CPU and the GPU is maybe running hot. And that's why, yeah, you will need to open all this stuff. And like I told you guys, sometimes you just can get here inside uh, when you have some great notebooks. You don't even need to take all this off, you know. So on some great notebooks, you can just directly open it. Now... I don't know if I will just uh, try to get inside. Sometimes this is a pipeline here. This is transferring the heat to the heat sink. Sometimes it's just okay when uh, you get here inside. But you need to you need to check this, you know. So you need to you need to test this yourself. Some notebooks are great. On some ones you you will have more to, more to work and. Yeah, it will not be that easy, but I'm going to try now um, to go just here inside. Sometimes it's just okay, um, but I will see. I will just look right now if uh, this will be good or not. I don't know. Yeah, it's great. Hey, look at this. Wow, I love it. Okay, I can see already here, there's no more thermal compound. And here, just look at the Cooper. So here you can see, um, on this places here, yeah, here on this side, the thermal compound is just dry. It's, it's just not, not more there. You can see that here is the thermal compound missing. And another great thing that I want to show you, the most problems comes also from the heatsink. And I can tell you right now why. Here you can see that. Okay, here you see that you have so much dust. Okay, that this is of course, uh, it lets you not, or we can say it lets the heat not get out. So the heat gets just in the notebook inside and the heat cannot uh, pass through the heatsink okay and this is of course a big problem because um, yeah it is just keep running hot the hot air cannot pass through the heatsink and it stays just inside the notebook and it gets overheating and if you have this problem the next problem is the thermal past. So the thermal compound will get harder and harder and harder and somewhere it will not, yeah, we can say transfer the heat to the heat sink or to the heat breather, to the cooper or whatever it calls in English. So now you have seen now how fast you can just clean this away. Just a second guys. And here we go. Ta-da! Just like new. It's better than new because it's made by NSC. <laughs> yeah, guys. Um, 
this one's here mostly the GPU on uh, this notebooks uh, they have mostly a thermal pad so that means here you have no thermal compound mostly here you have some thermal pads okay but now that's great that's great so let me not just get another um, we can say bit for my screw drill and I'm gonna open the CPU right now so uh, come on so here we go hope you can see that all still let me just focus a bit more here we go I'm gonna take this CPU out now just open to the left okay here it's closed you just open it to the left and then you just take it here apart here we go okay Ta -ta. so now let's focus uh, we can say let's zoom back yeah this is really all all just dry you see that it's no more compound there no more thermal compound there really really we can say dry and here i can feel already with my fingernail this is so hard you can hear it it's just so hard you see that so don't do that what i will do right now because you can scratch the cpu but i just want to show you this wait see that <laughs> this is really hard guys you need to take care okay you don't you please don't do that because you can scratch the cpu and if you scratch the cpu it will of course not work anymore but this kind of cpus you can get on ebay for about 10 bucks or 20. <laughs> this is no problem okay the cpus uh, you can really get for a very cheap price about 10 15 euros this is no problem okay so here I, this is so hard this is so hard i will need to pause this video i'm gonna clean this all with alcohol and all the rest and then we're gonna put here some new thermal compound so wait here we go i got here like i see uh i got here thermal compound from mx4 which i can just recommend always i can still recommend this thermal compound this is one of my favorites as a long long time uh, a long long time ago i had also a thermal compound which was the arctic silver 5 but mx2 and mx4 is really one of the best signs about six years or more okay guys this is one this is really a great thermal paste okay um i'm gonna pause because um this will take too much time i'm gonna um clean this one here and um i'm gonna clean this one so guys now um when it's all clean just like here you can see that let me just focus yeah that's how to focus yeah right now it's great you can see just very clean and also the we can see the cooler itself the heatsink here the cooper is clean just take care that really all the um, the rest and all the hard thermal past is cleaned away take also care that all this uh, cooler and all the the heat sink here uh, it's really free from dust so the air can just get perfectly out okay and here for the rest just take some alcohol i got here some great alcohol light like uh, isopropanolsky <laughs> yeah uh 99 problems and a bitch and one yeah. okay okay just kidding um here we go again just clean this all and um be sure that you have no dust over there and then uh, of course you will need now to add some we can say new thermal past or paste or whatever it calls in english so it looks great now i'm gonna try to do this with you together guys but this is not it's nothing special so here we go let me just check one last time here it needs not be that that beautiful but it should be yeah very very nice done so uh when i do something i want to do it really great and that's why 
I just love to work clean. And now we can just add some thermal past or thermal compound here over there. Well, not too much, just take care. You can suck it back. So, and here this should be enough for all the CPU. You better put a little bit, a little bit more than just to less. It's always better you put everywhere on the, we can say, all of the die because this the CPU here, the part where you put the, we can say thermal paste. This stuff is called it, uh, the the die. This is the core, and it conforms which CPU you have. Some CPUs has a lot more cores. Some CPUs are just single cores, but uh, it doesn't matter. This is the die, and here it gets really hot, and that's why you need the thermal compound. Otherwise, the heat will not be transferred to the cooler because the thermal compound is bad or very dry. So this should be enough for now, and you don't need more, really not, guys. See that? It's just perfect. Okay, you don't need more. I'm going to prove you this because it's really enough. And here you got the symbol, okay? And this symbol here needs to go on this symbol. So wait, I'm going to try to show you this. Yeah, you can see it right now. Okay, here I have right now a lot of zoom. My lights today are not that great, but it's understandable all. So now I got my smartphone lights on and now you can see that all here. You can really check if this is all in the line. And um, yeah, this is very important that you check this before you get the CPU back, okay? You need to take care about all these pins, okay? If just one pin is just damaged or whatever, the CPU will not work anymore. Okay, so that's why. Just take care, guys. So, um, I just wanted to show you this because when I'm uh, doing some stuff over here, I just want to show you this all. So now let me just uh, zoom there again. So, and here we go. Okay, focus last time. Get the CPU in. Get your screw drill again. Now you just hold with two fingers, you just press it here a bit down, and then you close it here. Here we go. All right. So now, let's just zoom a bit back. And take care that all here is also clean from dust. You just don't want to have your some dust, okay guys? So I need to put the camera now on the on the on this side. So I will be yeah I will be able to get this in better. Here we go, just connect it here side again. And now just be careful. Uh, don't move here too much, just get inside there really slowly and smooth and don't shake too much, don't move too much because you will just, um, yeah, it's not good for the thermal compound, you know. So here now, let's get this easily down, here we go. And now you got here some numbers, one, two, three, four. Let's get your woman on the floor. Gotta, gotta get up, get down. <laughs> okay, um, here. One, two, three, four. That is just written that you guys can just fix this two here, diagonal, just this two, and then this two. But you can also go here. One, two, three, four. Doesn't matter. But it is just written like that, that you guys can see how you should um, yeah, we can say, uh, put it back together. So, now let's move the camera about here so I can work better. 
So here we go. Dum. So I'm gonna do this with you here, like it should be. You can also turn it one more one time to the left side, so you will hear some click when you turn it to the left side. Wait. Click, you hear that, and then you know that the screw now is really in, and then you can just close it. Okay, here, click, and here again. I hope you can see that all. Click, you hear that? I will do it once again for you guys. Click, and then you know the screw is really in. So, okay. So let's go again. One, two. One, two. This is maybe too near. Wait. I don't like it like that. So. And now here. One, two. Here. One, two. One, two. One, two. So this is now closed and this other yeah now it's finished okay so now I'm gonna just put back the old HDD just that you guys can see the temperature differences I'm gonna just put it back like that and later I'm gonna clone the HDD to a newer one and then we have repaired one more notebook so I'm gonna just let it here like this because later I need to uh, get all the screws together and 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 lots of work but it's worth guys so here we go let's open it put the uh, power cord back in so and let's check this oh I forgot my magic CD <laughs> wait not without my magic CD so bing just need to open it, shut it down again, get the CD back. So, and now let's get into the BIOS again, into the BIOS. Boot priority again. Yeah, that's right. Okay, you can now just leave it when you press this three case together CTRL alt and yeah delete then you can get of course also out from the BIOS yeah guys um, if you have some questions or whatever you just please write me that uh, in my comments and I yeah I will try to help um, yeah, to help you as, as good I can. Um, I have, of course, not always so much time, but now, um, yeah, I just have thought again to do some great videos. And uh, I still need to do some other videos because I have just promised also some other PlayStation 3 videos, but a lot of people. They just want to see also some other stuff, not always some PlayStation 3 videos. And I really do a lot of stuff. I got also a lot of videos in German about cars, because I'm repairing also yeah, cars and turbos and some steering boxes and ECUs from cars and all the rest and, and speedometers from cars. And I, I do a lot of stuff, guys, and that's why um, I just want also in future... Uh, I just want to 
update my German videos also in English. And um, yeah, all with the time, guys, all with the time. So here, it's great. Let's get out my magic CD again. <laughs> I love this stuff. Ta -da! Welcome. Yeah, uh, now I need my USB pen again. Let's get him in. And now let's check the temperatures. Very good, yeah, take it, you will love it, so. Dun -dun. Yeah, the hard disk is, like you have saw before, it has some warnings, and I was also able to hear myself that the hard disk is not running like it should run, um, really some noisy sounds and I don't like that. Yeah, you can also copy this old HDD to a newer SSD. So here. Core temp. 32. So let's get started. Yes. Uh, yeah. It's okay. We are already now on 55 degrees and uh, it's already better than before because um, before it was about 65 degrees and now yeah this will help the temperature here is not a big difference I can see so that means the CPU is once of the yeah not the coolest CPUs but it's okay you see uh, it it was necessary also to um, change the thermal paste it's also it's always very good when you change the thermal compound because here now you will be on the safe side and the the cooler was really full of dust and now you can see the temperatures um yeah, it was a bit better it's it's a bit better right now it's not that much but um we already have found the problem this was the hd of course um yeah, now the notebook is of course working here on um, uh, two gigahertz, uh, two gigahertz, uh, one dot eight, one dot nine, and as long as it's working, uh, the temperatures is of course also higher. But uh, when it's on idle, the temperatures should go now down to about yeah fifty five degrees, like we have just saw it right now, on about fifty four degrees on, on minimum. I think the temperatures will go down with the time, so when the notebook is not working hard, uh, the notebook uh, will of course get cooler, like you can see right now, 56, 55. These are the temperatures for this CPU, which are really great, okay? But when this CPU was running always on about uh, 65 or 70 degrees, uh, with the time this could be uh, a big problem, because the CPU will get always so hot, and uh, uh, with the time, about one or two years, always running on, uh, uh, we can say, high temperatures, the CPU will, of course, uh, overheat and, yeah, it will just burn out. <laughs> so you better just look that you have now. We can say you should apply the thermal con compound or the thermal paste all three years should be enough. It conforms so much time you use the notebooks. It conforms how often you play games and whatever. It conforms how you use it. And uh, the thermal compound from MX4, like this one, uh, they just write that 
this thermal compound uh, it holds about eight years okay but if you got we can say a fan just like this one here <laughs> that was full of dust of course the thermal paste will get harder faster and uh, the thermal uh, will not be transferred to the cooler yeah guys uh, this was all for me it seems to work very good now we are here about uh, or we can say around 55 60 degrees so that means it's about five degrees better and uh, when the cpu is not working that much of course it gets cooler right now and yeah it's it's a little bit better uh, as before but the most important here right now is that you got a newer thermal pest uh, this will hold the next years again without problem and now you just need of course to fix we can say uh, the HDD because we already have saw that the HDD has problems uh, what you can do also is you can check um, the next stuff um, you can check the memories also I got here a great tool also on the CD let me check this wait 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 I need to search this for you guys it's also a great thing wait 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 I need just to search this on my magic CDs <laughs> I got a lot of magic CDs I love that it's old but it's great so here 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 let me see where I got it here mem test very great I have just found it right now so here we go mem test you can test your memories with this one just put it here and then you just also need to boot it up and yeah guys I hope you like it I just wanted to share uh, with you the work that I do uh, at home and uh, temperatures are just great like you can see here see that so now the disk has just started wait here it confirms so the notebook is working but now we got here definitely uh, mostly 55 degrees instant as like it was before on 65 66 I I just have forget but you have seen this uh, on the video uh, on the beginning of the video the CPU was running in the few first minutes very hot but now it's just all okay it's about five six degrees better and it's good that you do that because uh, it's better than it was before so now I need to zoom back let's shut down and I'm gonna just show you again also um, the tool mem test mem test means memory test you can also put that on your USB drive and you can just also boot over the USB drive but um, yeah if you got this all on the CD it's it's great too <laughs> yeah guys uh, here it showed now boot to the mem test tool yeah here we go and now it will test your memories okay so you, it has here about three gigabytes of RAM the slot zero has two gigabytes and the other slot has one gigabyte okay it has other notized that it, these are Samsung memories and uh, you can see it will run now some tests and when it has passed 100% then it's all great if not it will be written here somewhere some yeah, red letters and or I think it was here I can't remember anymore but here it will show you the errors and all this the stuff the cache and all the stuff here you can see that here it's a bit difficult to explain you this all in English for me but um, this will run about a half hour and then it will pass about 100% and when it's all done here without errors then we can say the memories are great but in this time here I already have found the problem this is really the HDD and you know just can leave it again uh, escape for reboot 
and then we are finished. We are ready to go. This notebook, we can say we have found the problem. And now I can go for my next ones. <laughs> and this guys, this is really a must. You need to have this guys at home. I really, I love it because um, with this done, uh, with this stuff here, you can really do a lot of stuff. With this IC box, I love it because you can copy your disks original to the next one without software, without problems, without bugs, nothing. Okay, guys, you just need this box and you can copy your hard disk to an SSD or you can copy an SSD to an SSD or you can copy an SSD to an HDD, it doesn't matter. The thing that it needs to be the same is just the size. So that means when you have an old HDD with about just 80 gigabytes, then you will need also uh, a HDD that is also with 80 gigabytes or higher. But you cannot copy a HDD that has 80 gigabytes to a HDD that has just 50 or 60 gigabytes. Okay, that's why the HDDs needs to be the same size or needs to have the same size or higher. Okay, so that's why. Um, it's just great guys I do with this stuff I do a lot of work and you can also of course connect to the computer you got here a lot uh, you got here the cable as well you can also just connect it to the computer you got here your power uh, supply or you can say yeah you need to uh, yeah get here the power cord so you can use it also on a dock station or docking station don't know what it's called in English but I love this stuff this is yeah peace I love it I have done um, I think it was a long ago uh, about one or two years I have done a video over this IC box because I was so amazed about this stuff here normally you cannot copy a PlayStation 3 hard disk to another one the PlayStation 3 or the PlayStation 4 will notice that but with this stuff I was able to copy a PlayStation 3 HDD and a PlayStation 4 HDD to a newer one and the PlayStation has not noticed it. So it was all working just like it's yeah, just perfect guys. I love it really guys. You need to have this stuff. It's really great. And yeah guys, I hope you like the stuff. Uh, I hope you like my work. This was now just to show you my work that I am um, yeah, all the days working with the stuff and I just wanted to show you how you can begin uh, we can say uh, to scan or to search problems and to diagnostic uh, the things and the stuff that you can see. You need to you need to begin somewhere to uh, to find the problem. And this was not just a quick video for you guys that you can see my life and all the rest. Yeah, guys, I hope you like it. Um, yeah, peace. Like always, a uh, lot greetings from me, NSC in the place to be. I wish you a great time. We will see us again soon with a newer video and uh, I will keep doing my videos of course. Sorry uh, that I have not always so much time but I got a big family and that's why. <laughs> but I hope you can understand this guys. And thank you again for all you guys for trusting me and supporting my YouTube channel. Okay guys, I love you for all, for all that that you do for me and uh, I really respecting you guys really a lot, a lot, a lot. Okay guys, thumbs up, um, subscribe if you have not and we see you soon. Bye bye. NC In the place to be. NC